caribou are overweight. And this is a caribou? Yes. It's a... Younger one, huh? Yes, yeah, a young one. I think he's about four years old. If I remember correctly. All right. <laughs> And the main difference in antler growth between the ones you see in this pen is just age. Okay. Although caribou and reindeer are unique in that they're the only member of the deer family where both males and females will grow antlers. I feel like these guys are encouraged. It's pretty incredible how much one can weigh. And then you can imagine having two of those on your head that's going to have really strong neck muscles. So do they occasionally get locked up like elk do? Yeah, every now and then. You'll come across, uh, well, not me, but people come across <laughs> caribou skeletons or dead caribou that are just intertwined. Yeah. Not too common, but it does happen. And right after mating season, the caribou will shed off their antlers. Long, cold winter ahead. A lot of journeying, typically. Don't want to carry around this huge <laughs> weight. Not a lot of food available. And so they'll shed them off, won't begin growing them again until end of winter or spring. However, I mentioned earlier that females also have antlers. And here's an example of a female antler. So a good, a good deal smaller, but they do have them, only member of the deer family. And they will all shed their antlers off as well.